Hey guys, Anthony here with Weback Tesla, and Weback Tesla because if Tesla fails, EVs fail, and we can't have that. So please consider subscribing, become a part of the solution, and when you make the awesome decision of purchasing your Tesla, you can use our referral link down below and get you some free supercharging. And today we're actually going to be talking about supercharging, specifically the supercharging speed of the Standard Range Plus. Usually I don't drain my battery. Today I made an unplanned trip. My grandma's sick in the hospital. And if any of you guys have grandmas out there, which I'm assuming you do, send some thoughts out to all the grandmas in the world. Grandmas are awesome. Tangent, but grandmas, we love you. But my grandma, I, I love you more. So just send good thoughts out to all the grandmas in the world. But since I drained my battery down a lot more than I anticipated today, I have the opportunity to take it down to the supercharger. Bedtime is upon us, and the girls are going down for bed, and... I'm going to go ahead and just take the car down and test out the supercharging speeds real quick. And hopefully it's helpful to you guys. I, I'm curious to see what the Santa Range Plus can actually do. I know that the superchargers were just recently upgraded to the 150 kilowatts for the version 2 chargers. So I'll be real curious if I get anywhere close to that. Let me flip the camera and show you guys what I got going on here real quick. As you can see, I'm on version 9, 2019, 12.1.2. Uh, let's go to the release notes. There we go. So release notes, the specific one that I want to test out today, right here, on route battery warm up. Whenever you navigate to a supercharger, your vehicle will intentionally heat the battery to ensure you arrive at optimal temperature to charge, reducing the average charge times by 25%. So this will be my first time supercharging. So I'm going to use this, I'm curious to see how close I get to the 150 kilowatts. So in order for me to get the on-route battery warm-up, I've got to navigate to the supercharger. So there's my supercharger. So let's navigate. And actually, there's the information. It tells me that there's six of eight. Hey, I was not ready. And six of eight stalls available. That's what I'm real interested in to see. 150 kilowatt max. So we will see how close I actually can get to that at this supercharger. See, I'm at 17% right now. So now that I'm navigating down to the supercharger, it should be warming up the battery for me to optimal temperatures to take the full advantage of the 150 kilowatts, I hope. I don't know. Maybe this car can't take that much, but we'll see. That's what we're here to find out. guys looks like we made it this Tesla supercharger is in a parking garage in downtown Colorado Springs uh, let's see if I can pick one that's fast let's try it out I think I just grabbed this thing push this button shove it in the hole that's what she said and see what happens up here battery low I know let's let it warm up a little bit I was hoping the battery would be warm enough that it would just get full power to at least like 90 kilowatts or something but let's let this go for a little bit I think it's gonna climb up Thirty-five miles an hour. I wonder if this is gonna be as fast as it's gonna go in this car. Which honestly, with the smaller battery pack, may be the case, and it's really not that big a deal. But I had to try it out to see. We'll see if this climbs anymore. I doubt it will. Alright, as you guys can see, we are starting to climb down from our peak of 95 kilowatts. 
I think that is going to be the max for this car, at least for the foreseeable future. I used the on-route battery warm-up and that didn't make a difference. These are rated at 150 kilowatts according to the navigation. But my car got up to 95 kilowatts and honestly I'm not unhappy about it or anything. That's, this, these are still super fast for charging. Alright, so I'm back home. I did not stay that long. I only stayed about 20 minutes. Just long enough to serve the objective which was to see how fast the standard range plus could charge at a supercharger that was rated for 150 kilowatts i have version 2019 12.1.2 which is the most current one that you can get i think i don't know the majority of people have right now which is like may 8th 2019 so as of right now, the max I could get was 95 kilowatts. Maybe this battery pack can't take that much charge as much as the, the long range or the bigger Model 3 battery packs, but we'll see if that gets updated in the future in a future software update. They, they did update, you know, the old Model S's and X's to where they can take more uh, power just with an over there software update. And, so that's just another huge thing with these cars. If there's any reason to buy a Tesla, it's it's the software updates. No other car does this. Does your current car get faster? Does it get more efficient? Does it get safer with over the air updates? Like on a constant basis? And if it doesn't, do you accept that? Like for me, I feel like I can't accept that anymore. Like, not after experiencing this. Like any other car that you get, you just you're stuck with that level of car until you get rid of it and upgrade. But this car, for the next five probably longer years, is going to continue to get better and better. To me, it just seems silly to accept that. Like the other car companies got to step up their game as far as you know, electrifying their fleets and and pushing innovation and software updates to people over the air over multiple years of ownership like once you experience that and once you have that there's no going back so either the other company's got to step up or you got to go with tesla right now it's i don't see how anyone can just accept buying a car and knowing that this thing is bricked to be as good as it is for the life of it when you can get into a car like this and it just it continually gets better it gets safer it gets and it's just a blast to drive out of it's fantastic okay i'm off i'm done i came home because i wanted to go see my wife i don't know if you guys have seen my wife but she's fantastic she's awesome and i want to go hang out with her so please go check out our other videos i've got more in-depth range videos i've got more videos in the pipeline if you guys have any suggestions of things you want to see please leave them down below i've got big things coming so please subscribe and keep a lookout and i'll see you guys in the next one